mad at me now. Man, I'm really going to need the Holy Ghost now. Fix me up, Jerry. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you so much, Melvin. Thank you, all of you. Appreciate that. And, you know, I give God all the glory, all the honor. You know, you never know. You never know. I never knew I was going to be a pastor. You don't know. And I remember quitting school in high school, and I was already accepted to Eastern University. God, God was so funny because I was going to um, go into social work. And look at the social work I got. God said, okay, I'm going to really do the social work. And he has. I've been a pastor for over 30 years, and uh, I've seen the good, bad, and the real ugly. But we continue to move forward. And that should be for all of you. Amen. And I, I always tell God, I, I think about you guys at home, and I think, Man, this is one of the best congregations in the planet. Yeah. We're not a mega church, but you are mega people in God's right. right. I mean, y'all, yeah. I look all walks of life, and what I like is that we have an international flavor. We got red, black, yellow, white. I mean, yeah. Hispanic. I mean, we got everything here. Just what heaven's going to be. Yeah. Can you say amen? Yeah. And, but the number one thing, uh, just to remind all of you, the church started on Christ. Love. Yes. Yeah. His love. What well, don't it figure? I was a flower child. Peace, love. <laughs> so God said, I'm going to knock that out of you. I'm going to show you by a real agape love. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And you, you got to have a love for one another. Right, right now, especially right now, we live in such evil times. There, there, I was telling my wife the other day that I've never felt so much hate in the world as now. There's, there's a hate in families, yes. there's a hate in the house of God, there's hate between ministers, there's hate, just a spirit of hate yes. that you all need to rebuke, get it out of here, man. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen? Yes. I know we're not the perfect church. I know that. If it was, you wouldn't be here. Yes. <laughs> and I know I'm not the perfect pastor. I'd be the first one to admit it. Uh, I know we, we say dumb things, make mistakes. But we keep moving forward. Yeah. And you say amen. Yeah. One thing you all know, if you've been here for a while, that, you know, we, you, you just got to keep moving. Shake it off. Repent. And keep moving forward. Yeah. Amen? amen? And, you know, you all know, look, at, I was just telling somebody yesterday, not everybody, not everybody can be part of this kind of church. It's, number one, it's the deliverance church. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to tell you, I want to tell you something. If I was a friendly seeker church, I would have to build a church two weeks from now. Yeah. But it's not a friendly seeker. We're friendly. Amen. Yeah. We're friendly, but we're not a friendly seeker church. We have to believe what the word of the Lord says. Amen. You know, we love the homosexual. If you're homosexual today, we pray you get delivered or hit the road. You can't be here. We love transgenders. We, lo we love those people. But they need to repent. Yes. I mean, know that. Yes. Yes. They need to repent. We, yes. we love people. Yes. Well, who doesn't? God loves people. Yes. For God, what? <coughs> so love the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish. Well, what, what? Come to everlasting life. Right? So all of you, you all need to be expressing the love of Christ. The love of Christ. You know, smile once in a while. Don't look like you look like you've been baptized in lemon juice sometimes. Man, I walk through that door on Sunday and I see your faces. I go, oh, man, look, you must have a bad week. They've been taking shower in lemon juice all week long. No, you know, put a smile on your face. I mean, I don't care if you don't got teeth or not, just smile. Last night I was watching a documentary on Dick the Bruiser. Big old smile, no teeth. I said, y'all got to smile. You gotta be happy because life is short. Life is so short. I mean, I mean, so short. You see the obituaries, young people dying, not old people. Young, I mean, old people, yeah, but young people. So enjoy your life. Look at God put you around. Look at the person around you. Be God put you there with them for a purpose to pray for them, for, to love them. Amen. Be an example for them. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. We need to be examples to the Gentile world. I mean, yeah. I mean the, right now, 
They need your witness. The world, there are people out there that are lost, they're fearful, they're possessed, they're confused, they're misused, abused, and where are they going to get their help? From you people. You got to always remember that it's not always about you. It's not always about what you're doing in the church. It's getting, touching the people out there. You know, Jesus, I don't see Jesus a lot in the synagogue. He was on the marketplace. He was walking around, healing people, casting out devils. You people need to reach out, touch people out there. Amen? God will take care of his house. And you know what? Listen, we all can be replaced, honey, so don't think you're the one. Don't ever think you're the one. God can replace us instantly. Can you say amen? I, and I think it's about God's ready to do that with some people. I, I mean, listen, we like to preach the truth. Y'all know that. Not going to sugarcoat nothing whether you like it or not. And I don't, you know, it's, a lot of people will not agree with me. That's fine. Not everybody agrees with you. Right? So that's part, that's the way it is. But y'all love Jesus. We all love Jesus. Y'all love one another, right? Amen. Well, that was just, I would hurt three people. <laughs> wow. Let me say that again. Y'all love one another, right? Yeah. 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 see the love that we have between each other. Yes, Jesus yes. said the world would know that we were his disciples oh, yeah. by the love that you have with one another. Right. One another. Yeah. That's an evangelistic tool. Exactly. You, you guys at Walmart, you're believers and you're arguing and fighting over something, over loaf of bread that you wanted, he wanted it, <laughs> and the heathen's watching you. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Come on. Yeah, totally <laughs> yeah. No, but anyhow, look at love one another. To the end, love one another to the end. Now go to First Peter, everybody. First Peter. Chapter 2. We're going to go back. You know I started on the ways that you lose your first love. I'm going to go back to that in a little bit. But I want to go through this chapter. I was reading that and the Lord asked the Lord, Lord, is this what you want? You always want to ask the Lord, amen? amen. All right, 1 Peter chapter 2, start at verse 1. Therefore, lay aside all malice, lay aside all wickedness, lay aside all deceit, lay aside hypocrisy, lay it aside. Everybody say, lay it aside. Lay it aside. Lay it aside. Therefore, lay aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, and all evil speaking. Lay that all aside. He's talking to the church, amen? Now watch. Verse 2, as newborn babes, as newborn babes, desire the sincere or the pure milk of the word. Now, you know what the Lord was revealing to me? Why a lot of people, uh, what happened with a lot of people that don't get disciple right, they, they drink the milk, but guess what they do? They mix it with everything. Mm -hmm. They put Nestle's quick, they put strawberries, they put bananas, and they're not bad. But this is the pure word. The pure word is what makes you grow right. Yeah. we got a bunch of believers in the body of Christ that have not grown right. Yeah. They mix the milk with all kinds of garbage and, oh, my God. No, no, we need to grow right. You yeah. say, man? Y'all yeah. know we're growing like Christ. To be like Christ, that's what we're growing up to be. Yeah. I mean, know that. Yeah. So desire the sincere milk of the word. How do you feel that you haven't been drinking the milk of the word? You, you, know, you know what? Just because you, you've been in the kingdom 30 years doesn't mean you stop drinking milk. That's right. 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 I still drink milk. Y'all, yeah. yeah. how many you still drink milk? Yeah. Yeah, you drink milk. And, and spiritually, too, you still need to grow. You grow, amen? Because if you don't grow this way it's sincere, it's with the sincere, pure milk of the word, guess what? You're never going to be able to handle the meat of God's word. Yeah. Never. Yeah. You will choke. You will not understand. You will take it wrong. You won't grow. So let's grow right. Amen. Everybody say, let's grow right. Let's grow right. right. Amen. All right. It says, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Now watch. 
If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. And how many know the Lord is gracious? Man, God is so gracious. Coming to him as to a living stone. Not stone, a living stone. Rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. I mean, Jesus is precious. He is so precious, man. I mean, so precious. You people need to know the preciousness of the Lord. He loves you. He wants time with you. You know what I said? He wants to spend time with you. I mean, you know, in the old, in the New Testament, he spent a lot of time with his disciples. And he wants to spend time with you in prayer, in word study. Personally, he wants to spend time with you, Peter. Can you say amen? Look at somebody and say, Jesus wants to spend time with you. He wants to spend time with you. Y'all, y'all, y'all get that? You know how you like spending time with your friends and all that? That's all fine and good, but you need a time to spend time with Jesus alone. At times, you spend time with him alone. As you read the word, that's why I like getting up early in the morning because that's when I spend my time with the Lord at the kitchen table. Reading my Bible, praying. Nobody bothers me, John. Nobody. Nobody. I just spend time. I can feel his presence come down, rise up. And, man, I'm just, today I was lifting my hands up. And my daughter, Angela, walked into the kitchen. She went, Dad, I started praising God. Just get out of here, you know. But I was praising the Lord. You know, you spend time with the Lord. Amen? Spend time with, spend time with Jesus. Yeah. Look at You husbands, if you don't spend time with your wives, what's going to happen? Trouble. You're going to have trouble. Trouble. Right, Connie? <laughs> Connie, yeah, yeah she's looking at that with that eye. Ah, yeah, yeah. You spend time. Spend time with your wives. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jerry, spend time with your wife. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. He says, you as living stones are being, look at this. I love this. You also living stones, uh, verse 5, you're being built up as a spiritual house. Yes. Yes, right Lord. here. Look at this. is yes, a spiritual Lord. house of God right here. Yes. One of you is a window, one of you is a door, one is you a floor or something, you're stairway. God is building his spiritual house throughout the whole world. But this right here, he's building it up. You're a spiritual house. Why do you, why do you think the devil causes division and strife so much? Because he doesn't want the house built. It's just like a married couple, they're building a house. But they can't figure out what's what, what door to go where. And they end up getting fighting and stuff like that. No, God is building a spiritual house. Amen. You're part of that spiritual house that God is building. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? Wow, come on, I don't care if you're just a nail. You're part of that house being built. You know why? God, God wants to dwell in that spiritual house. Not, not just this brick building. He wants to dwell in the spiritual house amen. so that he can reveal his son even in a greater dimension. Can you say amen? amen? You know, I really don't think we hear all these great stories all over the world how God is using men and women, but I really don't think it's not toward Jesus wants it to be yet. Right. I really don't think so. Because he wants to manifest himself through his people. Yes. Yes. Look at somebody say, God wants to manifest through you. Yes. Why don't you let him? Yes. Let him. Yes. Man, you know what? I can't wait to start talking about the gifts of the spirit and all that. But you all need to know that you're part of a spiritual house. You're not just a, a somebody on a, a name on a roll. You're part of a God sent you here for a purpose. You heard that already? Right? He sent you here for a purpose. Yeah. That you would develop the giftings and the talents more even a greater way. To give you all opportunities to minister, to preach, to be able to send you out, go to different parts of the world. Amen. That's why you've been sent here. Amen. Not to be a bump on a log. Amen. But there'll be some that will stay here and work and be deacons and elders and so on. But God has a plan and a purpose. Some of you will do mission trips. Some of you will go to different places around the world for his glory. But everyone that does that needs, look, you have to have a spiritual covering. How do you know that? Yeah. Man, you don't want to go nowhere. If you're not covered by anybody, you better stay home. Right. Dangerous thing right. to do. Yes, right. Dangerous. Don't go that way. Here, you've got people that we have an intercessory team. We pray every day. We intercede. We, we pray for all of you. Amen. Don't we, John? Yes, we, we, pray. we pray for every one of you. We pray for you when you get sick. We pray for you if you've got marital problems. We pray for you if you got financial problems. We're bombarding heaven. 
You know what? Look at this. You remember when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane? He was praying, man. Sweating blood. And he saw his disciples taking power naps. Yeah. Jesus said, he told Peter, could you not watch with me one hour? That's why we do the hour of prayer here, because we follow what Jesus said. But in January, we go to another level. We'll pray. We'll, I don't know how we're going to do it this January. We'll be praying and seeking God for the, what we're going to do for next year. I mean, there's things that are already in motion because of prayer. Yeah. Everybody say prayer. 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 Because we got, I still got some things we got to do. Thir uh, November, November is a beautiful time for us. We have our Thanksgiving outreach dinner, and we want to feed as many people. Who who was here? How many people do we feed? Anybody remember? I think it was 105 people last year. Not, no watch outside, not including inside. We want to feed the hungry. That's part. That should not be a biggie. No. We feed the hungry. Yeah. I mean, no, we need to feed the hungry. Yeah. Man, I tell you what, we got to go to the prison. We got to go to the jails. I, you know, I tell you what, God had a God had a maintained sustain. Had to go to the jail to go visit somebody, and because of COVID, because of uh, people just doing illegal stuff, it is literally like pulling teeth to get in the county jail now. Yeah, I got credentials to go in, but to get in, Don. I have to set up an account. I got to go on a computer. I got to put you in the day I'm going to visit. Then I got to have my credential to see it. It's just a pain to get in. And then we used to be able to, give me your hands. I used to be able to sit in the cell with the guys and pray like this with them. No. Somebody had to go in there and try to push drugs and they cut that all up. No more. One person cut the whole, can't even pray. I remember my one of my friends who died, I went to visit him. I gave him my Mary, Cat, Mary, Cat, Mary Baxter's book, Divine Revelation of Hell. I was able to pray with him. I was able to you know, lay hands on him, pray with him. But then after that, they, somebody got busted trying to bring in drugs. So the county said, no more. You, you can't even. You, I got, you got to see him through a screen like this. Oh, yeah. Terrible, Jeremy. Yeah. And then on the phone. And then when they want to cut you off, they cut you off. And you will that's it. So I got to talk fast, so I, I got a plan. <laughs> no, I got a plan. When I go in there and get in, you know what I do? I read them a psalm or a proverb and explain to them as quick as I can. And then I say, I'm going to pray for you, man. I, that's it. That's all you That's all you can do. But you know what? I said, Jesus, I do that as unto you. I go in there unto you. But I remember when the church as a whole, Tina, you remember when we went to the prisons. Remember, sis? We went to every prison almost in Michigan, but except Jackson. <laughs> Jeremy, we were, I mean, went to women's prison. We went to all the ones in Coldwater, all Plymouth, everywhere. Deaconess Joanne, we go in there with a group of people. I mean, we had church, man. I know we had people that were in prison, federal prison, writing us, uh, wanted to prayer. Oh, what, a, what a time. Give God praise, everybody. Hey, thank you, God. We did, we did, man. So I want you to be praying for our Thanksgiving outreach dinner next month. Well, you'll get the date soon because it's coming quick. And we want to we want to feed the shut-in, those that can't get out. We want people to be able to deliver food. Uh, we thank God for uh, Scott's wife, Michelle. Man, y'all better thank God. That lady knows how to get things organized. Amen. Praise so God. we're going to feed the people. You know anybody hungry, any elderly that are going to be sh shut in? We take them a good meal. I don't want to make you hungry, but we give them turkey, nice slices of turkey, nice vegetables, potatoes, and pie. Oh, man. That's a good meal, man. You've got praise. So be, you got to you got to see God wants us to do. Those are those are uh, Christianity 101. Jail, feeding the poor. That's just 101s. Amen. All right, let's keep going. You also, living stones are being built up a spiritual house. Spiritual house. A holy priesthood. Everybody say holy spirit. Holy, holy priesthood. Holy. Okay, first of all, say I'm part of a spiritual house. I'm part of a spiritual house. Created by God. Created by God. Now what? A holy priesthood. Holy priesthood. You know that priesthood, that priesthood is a royal. You're royal. 
But also don't forget the other word, holy. Yes. Without holiness, no one is no going to see God. God. I'm talking about the holiness of God. Not the holiness of a church or a man, organization of God. Amen. Holiness. Yes, right. Holiness. Everybody say holiness. holiness. Holiness is not me telling you, woman, you got to take those earrings off. That's not holiness. No, sir. no. Holiness is something that is developed in the heart. Yes, it is. In the heart. In the heart. In the heart. You say that. Holiness. The holiness of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, everybody say the holiness of Jesus. Holiness but always remember, without it, you're not gonna see you're not gonna see God. That's right. That's a stipulation. That's the word of God. Without holiness, nobody is gonna see the Lord. That's right. That includes preachers that don't live holy. Right. Preachers that live double life. They ain't gonna yes, see sir. Jesus. They're not gonna see Jesus. They're gonna see something else. I take this very serious right here. Because I'm I'm you belong to Jesus. You are Jesus' people. You are God's children. Very, very delicate to bring the truth to you people. Because those that preach the word, you know, evangelists, we come under a heavy condemnation. Yeah. You that want to teach or preach the word, you pray. Pray about it. Amen. Because you come under a heavy, heavy condemnation. Yeah. You, you, in other words, it's like, I put it this way. You know how we're all going to be judged? Right? Come on, y'all got to judge. Well, you are on the level here on the first step. The preacher's on the third step looking at God. So you be careful if you're teaching or preaching to people. Be careful. Give them the truth. If they don't like you, you're not here for a liking contest. Nobody like Jesus. Not everybody like Jesus. The disciples thought he was crazy. No, no, no not everybody's going to like you. That's what I like about you, Sister Lily. You stand on the word of God. You don't mess around. Man. Don't ever mess around. Man. She's tough, but she stands on the word of God. Man. We have to stand on the word of God. Can you say that? And, and that's what uh, Glenda, that, that was good, Wednesday, yes. Glenda. Very yes. powerful. Yes. You've got to stand on the word of the Lord. Right. No matter what. Yes. People might not like you, so what? Yes. You know, I look at it this way, Bobby. Right. They didn't like me when I was a hippie. Yeah. So what? Yeah. No, man. You can't, can't please everybody. Right. Dad, they didn't like you either. See what I mean? So, you know, if they hated Jesus, they're going to hate you. Yes, sir. You got to praise them. Come on. Yeah. We, we in good company, honey. I said we are good company. Yeah. If they hated Jesus, they're going to hate you. Yeah. Come on. You're going to hear it, man. One of these days, one of these days, you're going to. You're going to be set up to stand in front of some devil just calling you all kinds of names and just yelling at you and telling you this and that. Then you're going to hear the Holy Spirit use my voice. Don't forget, as they hated Jesus, they're going to hate you. Yeah. Right. Amen? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. And you look, you see, all this hate, let's, let's get into the spirit here. All this hate that you see in the world, is going to be transformed towards the church yeah. Yeah. here in America. There's going to be such a hate for you people. Yes. They're going to they're going to they're going to continue to get down on pastors for hate speech. They're going to continue to get down on you people for, for preaching at Walmart, going online preaching. They're going to cut your your apps off or whatever. They're coming. I'm just telling you, they're just coming. So you better be ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Now you stay in prayer, Ambrosia. You live in Toledo. In Toledo, they're coming after them. And I know them. You stay in prayer. That's why we're going to get some help for you. Because it, it, it is going to get ugly. Yes. That, I'm telling you, this hate, this hate is going to come against Christians like never. You haven't seen it yet. Maybe a little. Maybe little tiny bits. But it's coming. Man, I'm telling you. I, I get when I went to the jail. First, you got buzz in. You got to wait till somebody answers the buzz. And you talk about my patience being tested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how can it help you? I'm here for so and so pastoral visit. They got to wait till the buzz door. Man, I know that's a devil. You know that? You know all they got to do is press that button. But no, they won't do it. They take their good. And I'm already sweating, man. I'm gonna... You know what? I almost wanted to say, Lord, 
the way you open the gates for Peter, open them for me now. <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean? The, the pe this world, first of all, let me remind you, you're not of this world. Yeah, Look at somebody tell them, you're not in this world. You're not of this world, honey. Child of God, you're not of this world. You that are watching this YouTube, if you are a believer, let me tell you, you are not of this world. Tell somebody, we're not of this world. We're in it. God, we're in it, but this is not our home. We're, we're just passing through. We're, we're on God's uh, airliner. We're on God's, uh, uh, what's that train, Amtrak? Yeah. We're on the Lord's Amtrak, waiting to go to heaven. Some of you on a bus, bike, donkey, horse, but we're on our way. I said, we're just passing through. You know what? If you want to stay here, be my guest. Stay here. Because we were talking, Joe and me and Steve, the big biggest event yet to come is the catching away of the church. Yeah, I really believe that, Bobby. That's yes, the biggest Lord. next event that we're going to see. Because yes, this thing in the Middle East is not going to stop. There might be a pause, but it's not going to stop. Pretty soon you're going to get Iran involved, then Russia involved, then well, we got another ship that was sent when, this morning? Yeah, this morning, the USS Eisenhower that we have. You're going to see Russia. You're going to see China. You know what? This is gonna this is gonna be a distraction for us, so China can hit Taiwan. You watch. Y'all be praying, man. Yeah. Well, y'all, yeah, y'all be praying because this is it, and it's all. Look at they're all pushing towards the Middle East to the Battle of Armageddon. It is coming. You you've got to tell your families. Tell your families. Tell them that are not safe, whether they like it or not. Get your hearts right with God. Because I believe the next major event is going to be the catching away of the church. Give yeah. yeah. that praise, man. Yes, Lord. And let's go, let's go a little deeper. Now that all this stuff is happening, you're going to see the, 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 the rise of the Antichrist. But I don't, I don't know if we'll be here. I don't want to go there. But the Antichrist is getting ready to rise. The building of the third temple, they're talking like crazy about it. Yep. And then, watch this one. The great delusion. Yeah. The great that's the one. Okay, that right great now. delusion, the UFO thing is gonna manifest. Yep. You watch. Yep. <laughs> you know why? Look at look at they have to have an excuse for the rapture. Yeah. Yeah. What a better excuse than aliens took that's it. Right. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. What a better excuse. What a better excuse that aliens took him. Yeah. Ain't no alien take me. <laughs> they might take you, but ain't taking me. <laughs> the Lord is going to take us away this mask. How many believe? Yeah, Do you right. really believe you're going to meet him in the air? Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Oh, Debbie, thank you. That's Debbie, raise your hand. Amen. We're going to meet him in the air. That's right. Listen, I remember going to India. I was 35,000 feet in the air. I said, man, I'm still not close enough to go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be caught up in the air. Yeah. You all look at me, really? Yes. You read the Bible? Yes. The Bible says we're gonna be caught up in the air. You're gonna be caught up. You're gonna be caught up, you're gonna be caught up in the air. Just don't get in my way when I'm going up. We got somebody say, "Don't get in my way when I'm going up." People, can you get excited about that? Yeah. 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 One day, Sarah, you're going to hear that trumpet noise. And there you go. All you that were afraid to ride the roller coasters on Cedar Point, forget it. That fear is gone. You ain't have no fear. I remember I went out the wind seeker. How many you know the wind seeker that goes 300 feet in the air? I took my daughter, Rachel, man. She was screaming like crazy. Hey, settle down. Because there's all you got is a little strap in a chair. Man, I'm kicking back as oh man, Lord, let the record hit me now. I'm almost there, man. <laughs> no, no, come on, come on. Now you all gotta believe that you're gonna be caught up in the air. Ezekiel, you're gonna be caught up in the air. Can you see yourself in a minute in a twinkling of an eye? You're gonna have a new body. You're gonna be shot up. You're gonna, it goes like this. You're going to be shot up in the air. 
Can you say, say praise the Lord, man? Praise the Lord. I'm excited about that. Come, let's go back to the script. Come on. Amen. All right. Everybody say spiritual house. Spiritual house. Holy priesthood. Holy priesthood. Look at this. Acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Yes, Only through Jesus Christ are we acceptable. Yes, Amen. Yes, now watch. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious. And he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Give God praise. Yes. Now watch. Therefore, to you who believe he is precious. And how many you know the Lord is, is so precious? precious. Yeah. But to, the, to those who are disobedient. Yeah. All of a sudden got quiet. Yeah. Disobedient. But to those who are disobedient. The stone which the builders rejected. Has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And a stone of stumbling. And a rock of offense. Yeah. The stumble. They stumble be, being disobedient. Yeah. Disobedience will cause you to stumble. Yes. Yeah. Look at somebody tell them, disobedience, disobedience will cause you to stumble. Watch, they stumble being disobedient to the word. Don't be disobedient to the word. Amen. To which they also were appointed. You know you're appointed to follow through the word of God? Yes, yes. You understand that? Now, here we go. I, I love this verse. I want you all to identify. But you are a chosen generation. Everybody yeah. say, I'm part of a chosen generation. Yeah. I mean, say it like you mean. I'm part of a chosen generation. I'm part of a, chosen generation. I'm part of a royal priesthood. Oh, I love that. Royal priesthood. Royal priesthood. I'm part of a holy nation. Holy nation. Wow. His own special people. His own special people. His own peculiar people. That, in the King James, it says peculiar. Yeah. But remember, that doesn't cause you, that doesn't give you the right to act weird. Yeah. Yeah. We're peculiar, not weird. Yeah. But we got a lot of weird Christians. Yes, yes Lord. We're going to cast that weird demon out of you. Yeah. We're peculiar. Yeah. Everybody say peculiar. Yeah. Peculiar. Yeah. Amen? Now watch what he said. His own special people that you may be may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness. Somebody give God a praise. Yeah. He called you out of darkness. Out of darkness. Out of darkness. How have you been called out of darkness? How have you still in darkness? Oh, come out of darkness. Into his marvelous light. Marvelous light, man. Yeah. You don't need no generator. He don't need no electric plug. He is the light. Yes. He, you entered into his marvelous light. He drew you out of darkness. Yes. How have you been pulled out of darkness? Yes. Hey, get out of that darkness. I just want to give you a forewarning because of the times that we live in. How many know the devil knows his time is short? Yes. But watch this, though. You step into darkness too long, you're not going to be able to come out of it. Yes, that's right. No, you're not going to be able to because his time is short. That darkness that you step in, well, let's say 10 years you were in the darkness, you were able to get out of it. But you go in the darkness now? You know why? Look at this. You're like this. Isaiah said, there'll be a gross darkness. And you won't be able to get out of it. You will not be able to get out of it. Tell somebody, stand in darkness. Stand in darkness. Stand in darkness. Ezekiel, no darkness, brother. None. But it's a choice. It's a choice to stay out of darkness. You don't want to be in darkness. You know what's in darkness? Evil. Evil. You guys are young. You've got a lot of light from you. Don't go in darkness. There's where the devil is. Are you both saved? Are you? Spirit filled? How long have you been saved? But have you given your life to Christ, oh Lord? You? Have you ever been a disciple? No. We're going to give both of you something. Do you read it? Are you a reader? Are you a reader? I'm going to give you, it's called a new life. It shows you how to walk as a young Christian. Get that mother, okay? Remind me before they leave. Does your kids? Hey, Amen. Give God praise. Amen. Amen. Come on. That time I'm going to have to order another case. I think so. All right. Let's keep that watch. All right. Everybody say it again. Chosen generation. Chosen generation. Don't forget the 
priest, a royal priesthood. You know what? From now on, I want you to walk like kings. Yeah. I want you to start walking like kings. Yeah. Walk like kings. Yeah. You understand? We walk like kings because we serve a king. Yes, sir. We serve a king. Yes, His name is Jesus. Yes. So you walk yes, yes. as a king. Walk in royalty. Yes, we are. And if you don't walk in royalty, you walk in something else. You're yes, sir. You walk as a pauper, as a bum. Yes. Walk as kings. Yes. You understand? Yes, Go to, you know what? I can hear the spirit of God wanted to take many of you to another level. I mean, you want to go to another, yeah. you know, there's unbelievable levels with God. Yeah. You know, even God took the Apostle Paul to the third heaven. Yeah. What a level is that? Yeah. But you want to go to another level. Yes, when you finish with the level you're on and God sees you have succeeded and did well, he says, I want to take you to another level. I mean, you want to go to another level. Amen. You know what? Even the Bible tells you, you, know, you got to quit messing around, going back to repentance of dead works, baptisms, laying of hands. You, you need to stop that now. You need to grow up. Yeah. Everybody say, grow up. Grow up. Grow up, man. Amen. Amen. Not grow down. Yeah. The only thing, you know what? The only thing that's supposed to go down is your spiritual roots go down into the word of God. Yes. Look at this. No roots, no fruit. No fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Listen to me. No roots, right. no fruit. Yeah. What, are you producing any fruit? Mm -hmm. If you do not not produce any fruit, your roots yeah. must not be down. Right. You know what? I, love, I don't love them, but I respect them. The dandelion. <laughs> yeah. You can. <laughs> that dandelion root. Down! Yeah. I, I, I'll cut with the lawnmower. They're up there next morning. Boom. You know what I mean? No, no. You got everybody say roots down. Roots down. Roots. Jesse, get your roots down. You read the Bible, home? Oh, you're honest. Honest. Sometimes get your roots down. I mean, you what? You watch this book, man. We all watch. This Listen, how many of your Bible readers? Get those roots down. Get them down. You get those roots down, the fruits will come. And whatever, your ministry, your your attitude, your character. Get into the word, stay in the word, amen. Yeah. I, mean, I love the word of God. I mean, I love the word of God. Man. Okay, look, almost done. Hang in there. Wow. Again, everybody say, I gotta make sure you get it. Chosen generation. Chosen generation. Royal priest, priesthood. Yeah. Holy nation. Holy nation. Holy nation. His own special people. Oh, Are y'all special? Yeah, right. yeah. You know what, man? Some of you people don't feel special. Oh, yeah. you say my husband never makes me feel special. Well, you know, forget him. Throw him out the window. <laughs> God, man, you are special people. You're special. You're special. Scott, you're special. I don't want to hear nothing else more than that. Everybody say I'm special. Yes. I'm special. God says I'm special. Yes. Hey, look, at, he's not a respectful person. You're special. Yes. Don, you're special. Debbie, you're special. Say I'm special in Jesus' name. Yes. That would, you know what? That would destroy all the rejection, all the abandonment, all the foolishness that some of you go through. Yes. Say I'm special. Loretta, you're special. With those glasses, you gotta be. Yes. You look good, Loretta. <laughs> Bless the Lord for the Amen. I'm special, man. I'm telling you, 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 you know, you know what? The devil don't want you to know you're special. He, he wants you to stay in that turmoil. He wants you to stay in that mess. You're special. You're special. Jeremy, you're special. The devil has tried to eradicate that from you for a long time, but you rising up and you know you're special. I don't care. What's going on in your life? You keep looking in the mirror and say, I'm special. Yeah. I'm special because he made you special. Yeah. Somebody say, the Lord made me special. Yeah. Lord made me special. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Let's keep going. And then he says this. Look at this. Out of darkness. How many you out of darkness? Yeah. You make sure you stay out. Tell somebody, stop. Tell them, stay out of darkness. Yeah. Stay out of darkness. Stay out of darkness, out of darkness oh. man. Into his marvelous light. How many of you believe you're in the marvelous light of Jesus right now? You really are in the marvelous light. Marvelous. Stay there. Stay there. Stay in the light. 
Stay in the light. Don't, don't go in that darkness. Not now. Isaiah prophesied there'd be a gross darkness in the end days. And we're living in it now. We live in the days when they call evil good and good evil. That's a gross darkness. It's a gross darkness when do you know you're a man? Are you a man or a woman? Say it louder. I'm a man. But there are a lot of men that don't know if they're men. A lot of women don't know if they're women. Are you all you men men? Who do? Are you a man? I'm just checking, man. I ask your dad. I know, man, you, you're the man of man. You're the metal, metal man. He's the metal. This guy, he's, a, he's me and Jerry's example. Hey, Jerry. Brother Sid, he's our example, man. This brother, he's the man of man. Don, I know Don is a man. That's right. He's going to be your Santa Claus this Christmas, too. He looks good, man. Are you women? Are you a woman? Yes. They know that they're women. Look at that. They're better than the men. Right. Men, are you men? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. For a minute, I, I thought I was going to have to pray, man. Joe Hill, are you a man? Bishop Terrence, are you a man? All the way. All the way. Oh. Amen. Come on, man. Don't you forget. If y'all, if you men start getting funky feelings, you want to put a dress on, come up here right now. We can't take it. We can't take it. We can't take it. Now. Keisha, are you a woman? You better say it. You're going to knock that. Richard, are you a man? He raised his hand. Dan, are you a man? Dan's the man. Amen. Don't got to get this thing right. Are you a woman? All the way? All the way? We ain't got that problem. Jenna, are you a woman? Harold, are you a man? Jerry, are you a woman? Yeah, he caught it. He caught it, man. Good job, Jerry. That's what I need you, man. Good job, Jerry. You know that was coming. You did. Where's that? Who once were not a people. How many you know you used to be nothing? Yeah. I mean, you know, you used to be nothing. Yeah. You once were not a people. You were animals. You were beasts. You were worms. What's now? You were, you were, you were night crawlers. Man, I was a night crawler. You was a night crawler. Some of you were beasts. Night crawlers. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for saving the night crawlers. <laughs> we once were not a people, but look at this. But now, the people of God. Amen. How many people of God say amen? amen? Look at this. Who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You all better thank God for mercy. Yeah. I'm telling you, you better thank God for mercy. I was back in my past life. I shouldn't be here. I should be six foot under, or I should be in Jackson Prison. Mercy. Everybody say, I'm going to know the mercy of God. I don't mean to use you. This is mercy right here in Iraq. Getting shot and bombed, still alive. That's mercy. That is mercy. And the same with you. That all that you went through in prison, that's mercy. Yes, Lord. You understand mercy, don't you? Mercy. Everybody say mercy. Mercy. Mercy, man. Let's thank God for mercy. Yes. You know what? None of you deserve no. mercy. You know what mercy is. You know what mercy is. But you know what? None of us deserve it. None of us. Because the Lord loved us. I said the Lord loved us. Mercy, Jesse. I always remember mercy. Mercy. But say mercy. Mercy. Okay, now verse 11. We're closing. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain 
from fleshly lust. I could preach a message forever with that one. The first one that tells me that your flesh doesn't lust, we're going to cast the lying demon out of you. Yeah. Every one of you, even, I don't care how old you are, even the old men lust. I mean, the flesh is a lust too. Y'all yeah, better say, man. Yeah. Amen. Unless you are crucified with Christ. That, that flesh is going to lust all the time. Yes. It will lust for whatever it lusts. Yes. Don't let it lust. Lust of the eyes. No porn. No computer porn. Lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. The pride of life is what? Not of God. How do you know that? The Bible says abstain. Do everything from coming into that. You know, some people lust over food. Yeah. They lust over food. They got to have food. I, I know we all got to eat, but some people go overboard. The flesh, that's what we like January, we fast. Oh. I'm telling you, I couldn't believe how my flesh acted when I gave up coffee for that month. Man, that coffee demon in me was going. <laughs> <laughs> Try, just try to fast coffee. Try. All right, yeah, it is hard, Glenda. Try it for 30 days. Man, I'm over here sweating caffeine, sweating Maxwell House. I'm sweating bowls. I'm sweating everything, man. I'm sweating Speedway coffee, man. What you do is fast what you like the most. Some of you fast, need to fast television. That's right. Yeah. Not really. Fast television. Fast January all month football. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Look, look at that flash. You see that flash? <laughs> you know it. You see that? Look at that. You'll be blessed. Make your team will win the Super Bowl. <laughs> the lust of the flesh. The flesh is. Carlos Green's over there saying amen. Yeah. The lust of the flesh. Everybody say the lust of the flesh. Look, at, the only way you overcome that is getting the revelation that you are crucified with Christ. Yes. No longer do you live yeah, right. the life that you live now. You yeah. live it by faith in the yeah. Son of God. Yeah. And prayer, prayer and fasting, that's how yeah. you overcome that thing. Yeah. You know, I'm talking to some guys that got trouble with porn and said, you need you, you need to fast because the porn demon is one of the worst ones to get rid of. I remember we prayed, true story, we prayed deliverance on a man that had, he had the lust for children, porn men. It took nine of us to hold him down. That demon, Glenda, you needed to be here to see that. His eyes were charcoal black. And we started casting that demon out, man. That guy, I mean, nine of us to hold him down. Who were you guys at? Who were you, Joe? Man, I need you guys. <laughs> the demon, I mean, that demon came out screaming and foaming. You name it. And it came out. Yeah. He never had that problem again. Yeah. So that's yeah. God, hey, the lust of the flesh. You got you to be careful. You open that door, man. You open that door and watch when you, when you get in that form. Oh, yeah. You want your, I don't want to go into deliverance lesson, but if you if, if it's if a, the lust of the flesh and the sexual portion, you open the door for incubus and the succubus, yeah. and that's more wicked than ever. We prayed for a lady, my wife and I, that she was so scared at night because the spirit would come and rape her at night, yeah. and that we man, I want to tell you, I, I want God is my witness, man. We are praying for her, her at whole her whole abdomen went up like this. And went down like this and went up like came out of her, man. Amen. Hallelujah. That that's the we know the deliverance thing, yeah. man. We do. Oh, yeah. He caught him over. Yeah, hallelujah, brother. Oh, 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 Pray yeah. for me too. Hallelujah. Amen. But right. but those are spirits that need to come out. Yes. Can you say amen? Amen. And look, let me let me one more, one more, then we'll pray. One minute. I had a brother, real precious brother, Christian brother. He could not stop smoking. He kept puffing cigarettes. Quit, quit. He quit. I told him, I said, listen, he, go, he comes to my office and says, will you pray for me, please? I said, no, this one, I'm not going to pray for you yet. I want you to go home, fast for three days. 
I said, go to the woods where you live. Don't go, don't be around your wife and kids. Go for three days. So he went out to the woods. He did what he, I, he, he obeyed. He comes back to see me. God is my witness. We start praying for that guy. And I wish I would have filmed it. All yellow was coming out of his eyes, his finger, his face, his lips. All that thing was coming out of him. And you know what? Never touched the cigarette. Man. But he opened the door. He opened the door. Come on. Everybody say abstain. Abstain. From the lust of the flesh. Right, now let's finish here with this one. Abstain from the lust of the flesh, which war against your soul. And some of you right now are warring that way. You're warring, man. Oh, what do you mean? I'm, oh, one cigarette won't hurt me. One little shot of tequila won't hurt me. One beer won't hurt me. The, the war in your soul. The war, that's war in your soul. Oh, nobody's going to see me if I'm looking at a little porn on my phone. I'm not saying you do. I'm just going that. <laughs> war. How are you feeling that war in your soul? Be honest. Lift your hands. Well, nobody wants to be honest. Thank you, buddy. You know what? Lord, I rebuke all these lying demons in Jesus' name. That's right. I know the war in your soul. And look at you. You think it's easier? Look at the higher you're going, God, the more war it is. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Let's ask King David. Yes, sir. The higher you're going, God. Yes, sir. So you think it's going to be easier? No, it ain't. That'll be shoot. No, you. I put it this way: another devil at a different level. Yes. Yes, sir. Come on, saints. That's why you got to stay in prayer, man. Amen. All right, here we almost done with the scripture. Look at fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Now, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles. In other words, your conduct around the heathens should be Christ-like. Yeah, that's right. You understand? You guys that work in factories or whatever, man, what are you doing is cussing with those other guys, right. smoking cigarettes on break. What kind of witness are you? No, man. No. You have to be a good witness on the job. Come on. Yeah. I, you know, I can talk that way because God knows I was a good witness at the Lenaway Intermediate School District. And you know what? Yeah, you all could go there and ask him. I, really, I just let Jesus shine. Yeah. I didn't have to be opening my mouth and all that all the time, but they knew I was a believer. Yeah. Your conduct. Yes, sir. How is your conduct on the job? How is your conduct when you're around heathens? Yes, sir. How, how is it? You act just like them? No, you're not supposed to act like the world. Everybody say, I'm in the world. But I'm not of this world. You say, man. This is what he says. Having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, there it is, good works, which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. Amen. Give God praise. That is the key, man. Give God praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Amen. Wow. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for his word. Thank church. you for your word, Lord. For his word. His word. Let's begin to pray. We're going to pray. God, I thank you, God. I got another one for you. I want you guys to go right in Christ. Thank you, Jerry. You know, all you that are warring in your soul, I, I want you just, just for a couple minutes, I want you to talk to God and say, God, I'm tired of this war. I'm going to yield myself 100% to you. I'm not going to sway to the left or to the right because I know you're the only one that can give me the victory over these things. Talk to God. Thank then you, we're going to have a mass prayer, and I'm going to dismiss it. For your keeping abilities. Talk to God for me. Shine in your light Some of you are struggling. Some of you are still struggling with smoking, messing around. 
always and always be glorified in me. Come on, Please everybody. Be blessed. Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. God bless Thank everybody you, who's Lord. watching this here too. Thank you, Lord. Thank Everybody, you. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, 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 this morning, this morning, I've heard your word. I've heard your word. And I believe your word. And I believe your word. I connected to 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 your word. Not a personality. Not a personality. I connected to you, God. I'm connected to you, God. And I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth will pass away. Will pass away. But your word, but your word will never pass away. Never, never, never. It will complete. It will complete. It will accomplish. It will accomplish. To that which you sent it to do. Lord, Lord, this morning. This morning. I yield myself. I yield myself. I yield my soul. Yield my soul. Totally. Totally. To your spirit. To your spirit. For I know. For I know. It's not by might. It's not by might. Not by power. Not by power. But by your spirit. Your spirit. And Lord, you know, Lord, you know, you know my, heart my heart better than anybody. Than anybody. For I know Brother Jeremiah said, Jeremiah said Lord, that the heart is a deceitful, heart is deceitful wicked, thing. Wicked, wicked thing. But I know, but I know that, that I have Christ Jesus in me. Christ Christ Jesus in me. In me. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you that I'm not alone in this world. I'm not alone in this world. Lord, I yield my soul. Lord, I yield my soul to your spirit. To your spirit. This war, this war that I have in my mind is gonna be a stop to it. In Jesus' name. I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I think on good things. I think on good things. Things that are praiseworthy. Things that are praiseworthy. Things that have virtue. Things that have virtue. Things that have good report. Good report. I think on these things. I think on these things. I cast down. I cast down. I cast down. Every imagination. Every high thing that will try to exalt itself. Above the knowledge of God, yes. I cast it down. I cast it the Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. And I call it an honor. Lord, and, a joy and a joy to be part of a chosen generation, to be part of a holy nation, to be part of a Heart. Heart. Of a royal priesthood. Of a royal royal priesthood. priesthood. And Lord, I proclaim, Lord, I proclaim your praises before you your praises and, before you. and before your people. And before Lord, your people. Lord, I am grateful. Lord, Lord, I am grateful. You have taken me, you have taken me out of darkness, out of, out of, out of, out of the miry clay. Out of the miry clay. You have taken me out of the pig pen, out of the vomit, and into your marvelous life. I am a child of God. I am, I, am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am special. I am special because God says so. God says God so. Says so. Nothing, nothing will steal that from me. Steal that from me. Lord, in Jesus' in name. Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you're building us. That you are building us to a spiritual house, a spiritual house. For, your glory, for your glory, God. For your glory, God. For your honor, God. Praise and honor. The Lord, Lord. my life. Right. Has been available to you. Available to you. Use me. Use me wherever I need to be used. Wherever I, I need, need to be used. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.